All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim El Shai, Wahawrachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to get into a lesson on how the Lord is only saving Israelites. And he's not saving so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American people. All right. And um, pretty much the reason why I'm doing this lesson is you had this, you know, black demon. All right. This black woman scoff. You know, scoff me when I was uh, uh, preaching this, you know, past Saturday. And um, I'll say this. The spot that we teach in all right, or teach at is a uh, it's a mixed community. All right. You got the uh, uh, University of Chicago. All right. You know, nearby. You know, you have... Um, the University of Chicago, you know, the, the hospital as well over there, one of the top tier hospitals in the nation. OK, and um, I'll say this, the, uh, the Southern Kingdom, all right, or the so-called blacks that live over there are, you know, uh, a part of that so-called black excellency. OK, a lot of them have their own businesses, their um educated all right you know they're doing well okay you know a lot of them are um, into egyptology they're in the so-called conscious community you know and um you know basically a lot of them are just you know pro-black all right so you know when this woman bypassed Oh, I'll say this too. We were in the spirit of rebuking from the start of camp to the end of camp. It was just that type of a, 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 a you know, camp day. You know, we were getting on our people, uh, you know, for, you know, all their wickedness. Okay. Being a part of the alphabet community. You know, did this feminism. You know, re you know, rebuking the men for their lack of, you know, masculinity. You know, so on and so forth. And pretty much when this woman bypassed, you know, she heard, you know, what we were talking about and it cut her spirit. You know, it cut her spirit and she couldn't fight what we were saying. So the only thing that she could target, okay, was how I looked. And as I told the brother, when these people get cut in the spirit... You know, when they can't, you know, you know, fight or argue or debate with what we're saying, you know, they always got to, you know, uh, uh, attack you, you know, on your physical, you know, appearance or, you know, your speech, you know, how you, um, you know, how you present, you know, the message, all right? These people, the you know, if you're you're you, you know you're too harsh, you know you're rough, or maybe you you know you're not one of the you know the more you know educated, you know brothers out there, they're gonna you know scoff that they're gonna focus on uh, on that rather than the with the uh, a message that's being preached, you know, you see. And, uh, you know, through the spirit, you know, made me just think about how the Lord is, he, you know, he's not saving, you know, so-called black people. Okay. That, 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 that's, that, that's going out the window. See, the Lord is only saving Israelites. Okay. That's that. You know, hey, look, the majority of our people, they subscribe 
all right, to the nationality of being black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Native American, Brazilian, Venezuelan, Cuban, whatever, you know? And the Lord isn't dealing with that. The Lord is only dealing with Israelites from their, you know, respective tribe, all right? You know, you could be, you know, Judah, Ephraim, Asher, you know, Issachar, Reuben, Gad, so on and so forth, you know? That's who the Lord's dealing with, okay? And uh, let me get this real quick. This is, uh, we'll start off with this scripture. This is Zechariah chapter 13, and I'll uh, get eight, and it reads here, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And you see the Lord, he's about to destroy two-thirds of our people, okay? Those that don't want to return back to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, acknowledge, you know, who the true living power is, repenting for the wickedness that they've done, okay? And, you know, putting on their true nationality, okay? Their true identity, which comes with what? A name, who you are, comes with rules and regulations, okay? And it comes with, you know, it, it, uh, 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 you know, changing, improving yourself. And see, the maj majority of our people, they don't want to deal with that. You know, we were bringing it out in a, 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 a camp. They want to continue, all right, to party and BS. You know, do the drugs. Okay, you know, you know uh, 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 commit adultery. They, they want to, you know, uh, you know, continue to so-called make it in this society. You know what I mean? That's what they want to do. Instead of returning unto the Lord. You see, that's going to get them killed in these latter days. Which is fast approaching. You know? We're really at the end of this thing. It's only a little more time. Okay, that we're going to be you know, in this place. Things are speeding up. And it's not slowing down. Okay? But let me keep reading. This is Zechariah chapter 13 verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire. And will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. And I will hear them. And I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power. And you see the Lord is only dealing with the one third. Those are really his people right now. And that's because they're returning back unto him. You know? They're trying to keep the commandments to the best of their ability. They're trying to improve daily. You know, they're, 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 they're reading their scriptures. They're praying. They're calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? That's who the Lord's dealing with. And I'll say this. If you're calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're practicing... The, uh, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments Okay, to the best of your ability Is the scripture say what? You're re rehearsing the righteous acts Best believe you're going to call yourself an Israelite You're not going to call yourself black Okay Yeah, you, you want to stay far away from black You want to stay far away from Puerto Rican You want to stay far away from Mexican So on and so forth You want get to the, get the hell away from that name that's what the slave master told you who you are, you know? Which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. That, that's his uh, 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 biblical nationality. That's who he is. And he wants you to not uh, remember who you are. Because if you remember who you are, that means his kingdom's going down, okay? And that's a whole other lesson within itself. But that's why he keeps pushing on our people what? Black culture. Which is really death culture, you know. He wants you to uh, to remain in their 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 low estate, you see. So he can be on top. He can be number one. All right. And I'll say this: the majority of our people, they want it. Uh, 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 they want it so they want to be, you know, you know, called these other names. Because really, at the end of the day. 
The reason why they like it is because they can, as the scriptures talk about, add sin to sin. Because you got to remember, Esau gives these people a license to sin, which the Lord commands no man to do. All right? And that's why they, they'll do anything and everything else besides calling themselves an Israelite. But I'll say this, you know, they hear this word and, and they're angry about it. Because, look, we're not the Christian church telling you that you're going to be saved and that everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. We're telling you if, you're, if you don't listen to what Yahweh Bashim al Shai says, you're going to be put to death. And in a terrible way. And, and we get, you know, pretty graphic of what we say. Because I'll say this. The scriptures are graphic. And that's reality. This is what's going to happen. And people get upset about it. You know? But the Lord doesn't care. The Lord's only dealing with Israelites. That's it. And if you don't like this message, you're going to die in the latter days, man. Best believe. Like that woman. She didn't want to hear what, what we were saying. Okay, which is actually, you know, there to help her out. She didn't want to listen to that, so she had to point out, "Oh, he looks like a he looks like a white man. What's he doing up there with you guys?" But what's so funny is, if she was at a Christian church, she wouldn't say that. Hey, like the brothers, uh, hey, he made a great point. He said, if I decided to go, you know, holler at him, hey, she would have been praising the Lord. Oh, white man. Uh, he, he, you know, he he's talking to me. He wants to take me out on a date. You know? You see? And all women are hypocritical, man. But see, hey, hey, we were coming in that spirit of rebuke. So she just had to point that out. But it's all good. It's all good, you know? These are the same people that are going to be running, you know, to you. When all hell breaks loose. Then they want to, you know, uh, be on the team. Well, it's going to be late. Or too late. All right? It's going to be too late. Take that L. Take that. All right? But let me get this. This is uh, Revelation 7 and 1. And it says here, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the, of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, which the winds represent destruction. Okay, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And it says here, Verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And the hundred and forty-four thousand are the uh, top tier men of the nation of Israel. Twelve thousand from each tribe, which there's twelve tribes. So a hundred and forty-four thousand. Okay? And these men are the... Um, you know, the, the prophets, the preachers, the teachers out there, okay? Those are your leaders. And they're, they're going to come back in these latter days. It speaks about that in 2nd uh, uh, Ezra, the first chapter, the last verses, okay? It talks about how all these ancient men are going to come back. And they're going to be set up as leaders, you see? And if you see a man out there, I'll say this real quick. If you see a man out there. That may look like another nation, but he's preaching and teaching the correct doctrine. Best believe that's an Israelite. Okay? Best believe that. That is, a, that is not a heathen. No matter how he looks. Okay? I'll say this. Hey, you're all going to find out very, very soon. Okay? But let's keep reading. This is uh, Revelation 7 and 9. And this is a, 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 a key uh, a point, okay? This is Revelation 7 and 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, 
And this is, uh, mind you, the rest of the hundred, um, the rest of the one third, okay? Which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which just to um, remind people, the Most High, what this world calls God, okay, whom this world calls God, he only deals with the nation of Israel. Okay? So with that being said, those that are mentioned in verse 9, who came from all these different, you know, nations, you know, different kindreds and different people, right? They have to be Israelites. And I'll, I'm going to go into the Greek anyways. Because I'll say this. A lot of these Christians love to pull this uh, uh, scripture out and say that, you know, the Lord is going to save all people. Which is not true. Okay. I'm going to go into the uh, the Greek. And all those words are basically going to go into um, how it's your uh, ethnicity. All the, uh, all the definitions go into... Basically being your ethnic background. Okay? So only Israelites are getting saved. But let me keep reading. This is Revelation 7 and 10. And cry with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Their power is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's it. We just read that Zechariah, what, 13 and 9? Said that the one third, okay, is the Lord's people. Which are whom? Israelites. Simple as that. Okay? But let's go into a couple of these words. Like I said, I'm just doing this for edification's sake. Because I already know what these uh, words mean. Um, let's look up this word nation. Okay? It's ethnos. A multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus, genus, basically your family. All right, a tribe, a nation, a a people group, basically who you are. That's what it goes into. Long story short. All right, we don't have to, um, you know, uh, get get too deep. Okay, and there's a couple other definitions which aren't on point. All right, you know. That's for nations, kindred, okay? It's Fule. And it says what? A tribe. In the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch of Jacob. Come on. Doesn't matter which word you go into. People. All right, Laos. Okay, that's the Greek word. It says what? A tribe, a people. Like I said, your background, who you are. It's very simple. Okay. All right. So that right there shows you that there's going to be Israelites. Okay. From all these different nations. And best believe they're going to look like. You know. These places where they came from. Okay. And uh, let me keep reading in this uh, Revelation 7. And uh, I'm going to read 11 now. And all these angels stood. Round about the throne. And about the elders and the four beasts. And fell before the throne on their faces. And worshipped Yahweh, Saying. Amen. Blessing. And glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered saying unto me. What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him. Sir thou knowest. And he said unto me. These are they which came out of great tribulation. And have washed their robes. And made them white in the blood of the lamb. And you got to remember, the Lord only came to save his people. 
That's in Matthew 1 and 21. His blood was, it was shed only for the nation of Israel. And I'll say this, in particular, the elect. Okay? And the lamb represents Yahweh Shai, mind you. Okay? You see? Let me keep reading. Therefore, um... Oh, that's what I wanted to uh, to highlight as well. You had the apostle, all right, John. Okay. He didn't know how to answer the angel. The angel said, "What did he say? Uh, what are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they?" And he said, "What, sir?" He said, sir, thou knowest, because he didn't know the answer. And the reason why was because they looked like, the, uh, you know, uh, the other nations. It didn't make sense to him. Then, you know, basically, he got the breakdown, you know. Okay. You see? You got to remember, in, in, in that, uh, um, during the time of, of Yahweh Shai and the apostles, okay, they dealt with, you know, the typical looking Israelite, and in particular, the southern kingdom, which are, are, are so-called black people, okay? You see? That's what they were, you know, used to looking at. And so when he saw this, it, it was far-fetched to him. He was, confu uh, you know, uh, uh, probably confused, and that's why he had to have the angel, you know, answer him. But look, at the end of the day... All these Israelites that came from all these different nations, you know, kindreds and people, they all go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the end of the day. And going back to, you know, the statement that I, uh, uh, that I made at the beginning of this video, the Lord is saving Israelites. Look, he's not saving black people. He's not saving Hispanic people. He's not saving Native American people. No. The Lord is saving Israelites. And that's that. And there's no scripture... In the Bible, where it says that the Lord is saving black people. There's no scripture saying that. It, all it's going to say is Israel, 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 Jacob, Joseph. Which all, you know, represent the tribes. All those names. You know? You see? Jerusalem. You know? All these different, you know, uh, 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 names. They, and it goes back, you know, to... to to, 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 to the, uh, uh, the Israelites Alright so that, that woman man She you know she was just a hater Alright and it's nothing new Okay It is what it is You're always going to have opposition But see these people man they're taking L's man They're taking major Major L's right now And so they They, 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 they just got to you know um, You know Buck up you know, talk to, you know, you know, t talk that, you know, uh, uh, that shit, you know, run their mouths. Okay? Because that's all they can do because they can't fight the spirit. But I'm telling you, they these people, they're about to be in a rude awakening, you know? Hey, but whoever was listening to this video, hey, hopefully you were uh, edified. And I'll say this real quick, hey, for you brothers out there who are teaching on the highways and byways... You know, remember to always try the spirits because you never know who's an Israelite. You know, that's just a little reminder, okay? And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.